Hello everyone. Let's learn how to transform between strings and lists. The split method enables us to transform a string into a list of strings. We'll have to invoke the split method using the string variable. So we'll have to say s.split. Then we need to pass a separator string as an argument based on which we want to perform the separation. The split method call returns the transformed list. If we use space as a separator for this particular string example, we are going to get the transformed list as a quick brown fox. The join method enables us to transform a list of strings into a string. The syntax for join method is to specify the separator string, then dot join and pass the list of strings as argument. The join method call is going to return the transform string. It's going to take the separator string and apply that in between every pair of items within the original list in order to join those. So if we were to apply i as the separator for joining the list l here, we are going to get the transformed string as Mississippi. What if we were to remove the last empty entry within l? That's going to give us the transformed string as Mississippi. That's because the separator is only applied in between two items and not after the last item. We are going to cover an interesting demo problem for split and join. We'll be developing a program that's going to censor profanity. I'm sure all of you are familiar with how profanity is handled. You'll have to replace a particular bad word with the number of asterisks as the same length as the bad word. We are going to use simple bad words like oh my god midterm and down for this example. We'll be replacing oh my god with triple asterisks and down with four asterisks. Let me switch over to Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to define a bad underscore words list which is going to contain the items as oh my god, midterm, darn, and exam. Then we are going to define a function called sensor, which is going to include a parameter as input underscore string. For now, let me just display input underscore string by calling the print function call. I'm going to call the sensor function and pass a string as argument. The string is going to be, oh my god, the midterm was so awesome, exclamation point. Looks like we are getting the expected output now. Let's use the split method to split this particular input string into a list of strings. So I'm going to say input underscore string dot split and I want to split the input string by spaces. Let me capture the return value into a variable called words and I'm going to display words for now. Observe that we are now able to split the string into a list of strings. Then we want to be able to iterate over each of these parts and verify whether each of those are part of the bad underscore words list. So let me write a for loop. So I'm going to say for word in words and I'm going to print word. We want to be able to verify whether the current word is part of bad underscore words, correct? Recall that you can use the n operator for that. So I can say if word in bad underscore words, then only display the current word. And that's now going to only display the bad words in the original string. What do we want to do with the bad words? We want to be able to replace those with asterisk characters. So in order to replace a particular list entry, you need an index, correct? You can always use an index to retrieve a particular value, but you cannot go from a value to an index. The current for loop is simply iterating over the values. What we need instead is the indices. There are two ways to solve this problem. You can use the range built-in function call to iterate over the indices and use indexing to extract a word. Or you can use the enumerate built-in function call 
I want to introduce you to enumerate, so I'll be using that. The enumerate built-in function call provides as the output both index and the corresponding sequence item. So you're going to have to say for index comma the sequence item in enumerate of sequence. So once we do that, we'll be able to replace the original word using the index. So if we find a bad word, we want to replace that particular word, correct? So I'm going to say words of index and what do we want to replace that with? We want to replace that with asterisk and we need to multiply that by length of that particular word. So let's display the list words after this particular for loop. Observe that we have now been able to replace the bad words. What do we have to do finally? We need to use the join method called to join all of these list of strings back into an original string, correct? So I'm simply going to say use space as the join separator and then join all the words in the list words here and we want to be able to return this particular string so I'm just going to simply directly return that. Let's try to execute this particular function call. Looks like we are getting the expected output. You can imagine doing extensions for this program to be able to handle case sensitivity. For instance, if I now change this particular OMG to capital OMG, that's no longer going to work, correct? How can you fix that? You can just uh, convert every word in your for loop to a lower case. You can do that by saying if word dot lower open parenthesis close parenthesis in bad words. So now you're going to be able to use both the cases to do the censoring here. That will be it for today's lecture. Please make sure to explore all of the examples and try out examples on your own.